Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can migrate attachments from your QuickBooks desktop company file up into QuickBooks Online using Z Axis. So, you might have recently switched from QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online and used the built in migration utility, but have found out after the migration that your attachments are not included in the standard migration from QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online. And you don't really want to lose all that value and all those attachable items that you've put hard work into in Quick doing in QuickBooks Desktop and not have that available in QuickBooks Online. So we have devised a way using our import and export utility to first export out the details of all the attachments in your QuickBooks desktop file and then use that detail to upload that to the respective um, names such as customers or vendors or transactions such as invoices or journal entries, etc. in your QuickBooks online company file. So let's get into the demonstration. So before we start the migration, I'm just going to show you in the QuickBooks desktop company file, some of the attachments that we want to migrate up to the QuickBooks online company file. So here we are um, with this customer record we have for Dunning's Pool Depot. We've got a couple of attachments here. One's a PNG file and one's a price level text file. So we want to make sure that those attachments are uploaded into or migrated to QuickBooks Online, as well as we have um, a invoice for that same customer, and that equally has an attached file to it as well. So we've got a spreadsheet that's attached to that invoice. There is also some data which we have around the vendor. So we have um, a vendor record here, and that also has an attachment. It's got a text file and a PDF file that are attached to that vendor record. Equally, um, for that vendor, we have a check which has an attachment. So what I'm going to show you is that we can upload both the attachments for the names, whether those be customers, vendors or items, as well as attachments that are made to transactions. What we're going to do is first off is open Axis and we're going to connect to our QuickBooks desktop file that we want to export those attachment details out of. So I successfully connected to the QuickBooks company file on the desktop. I'm going to the export tab and I'm going to select the transaction type as a attachment list and I have the option to choose whether they can be um, accounts or transactions. So I'm going to leave that empty and I'm going to select both and I'm going to click get. So what that does is it goes off and it gathers the information about those attachments and the corresponding names or items they're associated with and brings back a result like this. So it's showing us um, what type of entity it is, whether it's a transaction or whether it's a customer or a vendor. And it's got the document number associated with that particular record. And it has a path or folder path and file name to where that attachment is stored. And we're going to need that information because when we come to upload it, we need to make sure that we are uploading the correct attachment file. So it's taking the attachments from your local drive and uploading them to QuickBooks Online. Finally, I'm just going to select the file format to export that data to, and I'm going to put it on my desktop and say list. Okay, and click Save. So that's the first stage in the process is actually getting the details of all the attachments and what names and transactions and list items they're attached to. Um, the second part is to begin the process of uploading those into your migrated QuickBooks company file. So first off, I'm going to disconnect from my desktop file and I'm going to connect to my online QuickBooks online company file. So once I do save the tokens, once the connection's been made, 
and now I'm going to go to the import module. I'm going to browse to the file, which contains the detail about where the attachments are and what names and trans list transactions they're attached to. I'm going to create a new mapping. So select add new mapping. I'm going to go to attachment. So we'll start off with the file path. So that tells where the attachment is. The entity type, the document number, and the full name for that, if it's a particular transaction. We also have the option to attachment notes and include on send, but um, those are not information that we can get out of QuickBooks desktop, but we can add that if we need to. Attach, give it a name. So I'm going to set it on migration and we're going to click save. So once you've applied the mapping, um, you can then review the various attachments that are going to be uploaded and you can um, uncheck the ones you may not want uploaded this time. And we can batch upload these um, attachments to transactions or to the customer or vendor or names items in batch using Axis. So we click on import and Axis will begin the process of migrating those attachments from your QuickBooks company file up to your QuickBooks online company file. So once it's complete, um, you'll be then able to go, you can then go into QuickBooks Online. So let's have a look at invoice 71130 in QuickBooks Online to see the attachment. So now you can see at the bottom the attachment has been added to this particular um, transaction. So we can go back in and we can also check that the um, vendor record has been updated as well as the customer. So Blackwell's, Blackwell's Office Supplies. Blackwell's Office Supplies has the various um, build assembly and the invoice attachment uploaded to that. And we also know that the customer record for Dunning's pool supply, we can check to make sure that's been uploaded as well. So we have um, the price level list has been uploaded and attached to that record. So that's very simply how you can use Z Axis Desktop to upload the or migrate the attachment lists from your QuickBooks desktop company file into your migrated QuickBooks online company file.